Hi folks, Nathan here with the ebookreader.com. So I just got done posting the review for the Kindle Paperwhite 2. I wanted to do this quick comparison review between the Paperwhite 1 here on the left and the new Paperwhite here on the right. So I just want to show a couple of quick differences between the screen. I don't know how well it's going to show up on the camera, but it's worth a shot. Uh, as far as software goes, they're like almost identical. The uh, new Paperwhite has a couple of additional features like this fast page turn feature right here. Um, and then you can like skip chapters. Uh, I imagine Amazon's going to update the original Paperwhite to give it these features. It's what they've always done in the past with the older models like the Kindle Touch. It got the uh, same software as the Paperwhite eventually. So they may be adding this to the original Paperwhite. So it's just sort of hard to say. Like the new Paperwhite handles uh, bookmarks differently. You can get uh, multiple bookmarks up there where this one you just sort of tap in the corner and adds a bookmark. So just a couple of software differences. I, I imagine will get changed uh, to be 95% the same here uh, with an update but let me go ahead and show you some of the differences you can count on uh, as far as outward appearances they're like almost completely identical it's the same shape and design um, it's got the the font slightly bolder here on this Kindle on the bottom and on the back it says uh, Amazon instead of Kindle uh, on the first one so as far as outward appearances they're almost identical uh, the uh, new Paperwhite here it has a faster processor and it has um, it has the new ink screen, the Carta screen. So the faster processor does make interactions a little bit faster. It's not really a whole lot of difference, to be honest with you. Uh, I have paid, full page refresh set on this one too, so it's a little different. But uh, let me go ahead and show you some of the differences with the front light. Let me go ahead and turn these lights off. Let me show you the main difference as far as what I can tell uh, between these two when it actually comes to reading. So as far as the new Paperwhite, it's just a lot clearer. Uh, the front light, it's a lot more evenly lit. I don't know how well it's going to show here again. Let me go ahead and turn these back up. Showed up a little bit better at full brightness. Uh, let's go to 24 on both of these. So the new paper white is very clear. It doesn't really have any discolorations at all. It's like very, very uh, uniform all the way down. There's just a slight bit of shadowing down here. Uh, it's very minimal. It's not distracting to me at all. Uh, we look at the uh, original paper white. You can see a lot more shadows down here. Um, that definitely not as uniformly lit. There's this sort of dark hue right here in the center that I always found distracting. Um, but as far as the new paperwhite goes, I mean, yeah, they definitely got rid of that. This is how the original paperwhite should have been, in my opinion. Uh, it's got uh, very clear, very easy to read. Uh, the older paperwhite, I've seen three of them now, and they all vary. Uh, one of them didn't really have the discolorations as much, but it was more yellow. Uh, so it just sort of depends. I mean, they all vary a lot between the individual models or individual units. So. Um, it just sort of all comes down. You may have had original paper white that didn't have any discoloration, so it just sort of depends on the individual circumstances. And it just all looked around together looked clearer on the new paper white screen, especially at the angle I'm sitting at right here. Um, it's just clearer. Uh, the text looks clearer, a little bit fuzzier as far as the original paper white goes. Uh, but I mean, it really comes down to it to like 95% the same. So if you get the old one, it's not a huge difference. It's just sort of a a little bit faster with the new one and then the old one obviously you can get it like refurbished for a lot cheaper nowadays but um, I mean if the front light uh, ununiformity un doesn't bother you then I mean there really is hardly any difference at all between these two units. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this review right here. I hope this uh, helped you guys uh, a little bit seeing the difference. Uh, I'm not sure how it will show up on the camera but uh, you know that's how it goes. Thanks for watching.